Mr. Bungle. Mr. Bungle? Yeah, first time I saw anybody play a computer, it was Eno, and nobody knew what he was doing. He was running off the stage, on the stage. That's what you reminded me of. Yeah, and also that Jay's Addiction song, when he starts talking, you know. I just heard that. And he's like playing, what's that uh, island drum? What is it called? Kalinsa. Yeah, James. Oh, no, not that song. The same album, though. That album. That one song? It's the one when he starts talking. I think it's uh, Sex and Violence. Oh, yeah. That was in Natural Bar Killers. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, introduce yourself, Dustin. Yeah, I'm Dustin. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Bridgeport. Okay, yeah. all right. And where are you I'm from Norwalk, Connecticut. So this Connecticut. is the Connecticut Show, yeah. thanks to Bob D'April. And, and They Are Us, that's the name of these two guys. And or They ATA, Are Us. Right, yes, and, and Us meaning who? <laughs> and, and They Are Us meaning you too? So how would you guys meet? Uh, we actually met at the avant-garde... Black Rock Avant Garde Music Festival, and Ultra Bunny played there, your previous guest was yeah. in that band. And uh, I opened the show, and Dustin played after that, and we were jamming and sound check, and then I played a solo and went on an album that came out that year. And uh, Why does it not surprise me that you were at some avant garde something? <laughs> I mean, it yeah. seems like you guys are just made for that. I'm going to let that. I have a song about uh, pooping my pants, too, and that kind of thing, so whatever. All instrumentals, too. Oh, yeah. And, and yeah. Do, you, do you, to have experience with that? Pooping my pants? Maybe when I was like two. This is one of my kids' songs. I have lots of ideas and lots of things that I write. Jazz, fusion, uh, produced rock, I write kids' songs, and then we do this avant-garde, based on all that stuff. So it's uh, fun. Cool. So yeah. do you have gigs coming up? We have yeah, tonight, actually. We are playing at Pianos tonight. Nice. Pianos is a great spot on Ludlow Street. So what time? Uh, we're on not until midnight. Midnight? Yeah. To Cinderella. The last one. Yeah, yeah, like Witch an hour. Oh, I know. Was, I Witch an hour. Yeah, funny, yeah. right? See how see how the mind works. Yeah. Mind Boy, well. werewolf, girl, yeah. Cinderella. I mean, go figure, right? Yeah. What does it happen for you to open this? Uh, well, we're not opening this. It's this is auto shrunken head, so this is a skull that's a shrunken skull, and we want Crystal Vodka to sponsor us. Yeah. So they told me. To put a bottle of their product on my table, not that they gave it to me, but we are doing it with the hopes that maybe one day they will pay attention just a little bit. And since it is on a shrunken head, we put the shrunken head vodka. I thought that was like the oh shit vodka bottle or something. No, but what we do have for you is it is National Root Beer Float Day, so we are going to give you a treat. Yeah, but I do need to get a skeleton from each of your closets. <laughs> like if you did poop in your pants when you were blown up or something. Uh, yeah, I did poop in my pants. No, not when I was a girl. I was trying to think of it the other day when I was like four, and my neighbor Maya was babysitting me, and at some point I tried to make out with her, and she was really taken aback, and I was like three years old or something. <laughs> <laughs> Are you friends with her on Facebook? No, I just hit her up. Maybe, maybe she's a cougar now. Yeah, what's the, what's the age difference, you know? Yeah. Uh, she's probably 15 years older, I think. So that could work. Yeah. Putting together words and sentences sometimes. That's hard for me too. Yeah. I mean, I, I am like so notorious as, yeah. as a malfunctioning grammar person. Yeah, I mean, yeah. grammar. What well, you need so, to? I, I love did, this I did thing. It already. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. It's like so, so the easy. Just put LOL. I don't really LOL. Yeah. Just for a few seconds. I've never left. Never. I've only done LOL ing. Or lols. LOL. Rope. Like coral. Yeah. So, um, did you ever read a book? Oh, yeah. Like which one? <laughs> like, like Dr. Seuss? I think one of my favorite ones. Maybe, let's see, Where the Sidewalk Ends? Oh, Shel Silverstein. I, I love favorite. him. The Missing Piece is like our favorite. Mm -hmm. Do you know that one? Uh, yes. I've read it since kindergarten or whatever. You knew it back then? 
Yeah, my mother is a teacher and she introduced me to all that stuff. See, I never knew a lot of that stuff until I had kids. I was not, I, I, I was reading like fat books when I was a kid, I know. I, then when I had kids, like, I got to read all the cute ones, you know? Yeah, you know, when I got the, his collection, there's this like popular book of his, it's a collection of his stories, but, uh, well, yeah, it's just like, um, I don't, that was a moment for me when I was a kid. I'm a big reader. I used to make up for Dustin in the band. That's what I was just going to think. <laughs> uh, reading for the two of us. Right. So. Yeah, I remember that. That's so lucky for you. <laughs> I drove today, too. And all the time. That's okay. I don't mind. Um, that was so a you're the designated everything? Yeah, yeah, for sure. That was a moment. I remember that was a moment of importance when I was a kid getting that book. And I, I guess for obvious reasons now, but at the moment, it, it I just understand why. But yes, yeah, this work is great. That's awesome. So what gig is after pianos? I think we're going to try to get some local ones going. In Connecticut? Yeah, maybe we're recording in Are there some good places up there to play? There's a few. Yeah. yeah? We're trying to find some big complimentary bands that sound. Ah. You had video in the live performance. Oh, yeah. I have you do live visuals. Yeah. Uh, video games. And video games. Do you have a favorite one? Video game? Mario, Mario Kart, I think. Uh, what about you? Did you used to play Centipede? Yeah, I used to play all the video games. I can't think of my favorite one right now. Donkey Kong, Centipede. Rampede, I don't know. They were There's fun. Something. That was a great time for video games, I have to say. I was good for a short time. Yeah, I found Did you have any favorite ones? Um, a guy Did took it accidentally. Yes. Like, like Pac-Man? Ah. <laughs> wow. So, would you guys like to push the button? Yeah, we'll push the button. Good for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Press all of them. Does he do that for you too, Dustin? No. Yeah. Well, he pushes different buttons than that. I was going to push my own button. Okay. You can do that. Ooh, that's and and your website is? Isaiahrust.com. Nice. Put, put. Is that you? It sounded like it came from over there. How do you do that? Are you he's got the mic right, right there. He's got the mic next to it. Wow. Wow. I feel like he's a ventriloquist with his phone. No wonder you're so electronic. Wow. And they are us. Yeah. <laughs>